Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a tutorial on this look right here, which I'm actually really, really happy with. I love this look. I have been wearing it a ton. I've been wearing it a lot while doing Snapchat. I've been snapping a lot. I'm Tati Westbrook on Snapchat, by the way, if you wanna follow me there. A lot of you guys have been requesting this look and I thought, why not? I love it, let's do it. Um, it is centered around this liquid gold pencil from Anastasia, which is gorgeous and so brightening. But through and through, we do the face and lips, etc. A lot of drugstore products used as well. And I will be listing everything that I use down below in the description box. So be sure to expand that if you need more information. Let's just jump right into the tutorial and get started. Hey guys, we are gonna start in the crease with a little bit of Anastasia's Birkin. I am loving this shade. It is the perfect transition shade. It just helps everything to look more blended. And I am just wiggling this back and forth with a crease brush. Use whatever crease brush you have on hand. It really doesn't matter here. This is just going to be the edge blur transition type shade. And then we are gonna move down to cork. This is just a little bit darker and I am taking a MAC 224 brush. And you notice I am starting on the center portion of the crease and then wiggling outward. I am using circular motions and just making sure that everything is super blended. I start out with a light touch and then go in a little bit firmer and blend the color around. The goal is to make the crease look completely blurred, blown out because we are going to be going in with some darker shades on the actual lid. Then we are taking Brown Down from MAC, which I'm loving at the moment. And we are taking a MAC 217 and you notice that I am just lightly, very lightly going in that outer V. I am just fluffing that color ever so lightly, just little teeny tiny touches, and then wiggling that color toward the inner corner, toward the inner portion of the crease, but mainly you want that color to be popping on the outer portion, the outer V. So this is just going to, again, give some depth, and basically make everything look really pulled together once we lay down that darker shade on the actual lid itself. So now I'm going back with my first crease brush, no additional product, and I am just making sure that absolutely all the edges are blended out, that there aren't any funky harsh lines, and uh, then we are ready to move on. This is the magic part. I love this. Oh my goodness, drugstore item. This is Flirty Floret from Flower Cosmetics. You can find this at Walmart. I am just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and basically painting my eyelid only. I am not going above the crease. I am just aiming to spread that color all over the lid. And this is one of those shades that kind of catches the light and almost turns a different color. Not that it's duochrome, but it changes with where the light grabs it. It is a beautiful, beautiful cream shadow. Once I have that color placed exactly how I want it, I am going to go in with the star of the show, the Anastasia Liquid Gold Pencil. I am so impressed with this. It is so pigmented. You could literally write over like a black tattoo and the pigment would like show up. No joke, it is so intense. I am just getting the inner portion of the lid. I'm kind of going for that like inner triangular shape, not going past the pupil. And I am just gonna layer that up. I want the strongest intensity to be near the tear duct. So you notice that I kind of, you know, take a look, add a little more, take a look, add a little more. And where I am layering more and more and more is really focused on that inner corner. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of Birkin on that first crease brush and make sure that all of the edges are still just nice and blended. It's just the little touches sometimes that really help you out. Okay, moving on to gel eyeliner, which I'm back into gel liner. This one is from Maybelline. I think I prefer the lacquer liner from L'Oreal a little bit better, but this one is pretty good too. And I'm super focused. I'm dragging that liner down like in an angle toward my inner corner, inner tear duct. Uh, and this, honestly, this always takes me a little while. So I don't wanna sit here for five minutes and just fuss over how clean I can get my eyeliner. Um, I have an eyeliner tutorial. I can link that below. I need to do an updated one because I have changed a few things that I'm doing. Anyway, magic, both, uh, both winged lines are on my face. Moving on to a little mascara, this is the huge mascara from Stila. And then I am laying on top these incredible lashes from Cura Beauty. These are the Blossom Lashes. And I feel like they have changed my life. 
I feel like I want to walk my dog, go to the post office, stroll the grocery store, wherever, just wearing these like amazing lashes that are really, they're kind of in your face, but I just feel really pretty wearing them and I like them. Let me know what you think of the big lashes in the comments below. Okay, moving on to the face. I am taking my Doll 10 foundation in medium. This stuff is really thick, but it does blend out gorgeously. And I am literally just painting my face with my IT Cosmetics Blurring Foundation Brush, circular motions, pressing and blending that color in and just making sure that my skin is completely even. I like to take the excess product and go on my forehead instead of taking a lot of foundation on my forehead just because my forehead tends to be a little bit drier. And I'm also avoiding getting too much product underneath my eye because I will be concealing under there and I just don't wanna layer up too much product. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Age Rewind, and this is the neutralizer. It has a yellow undertone, kind of similar to Max Prep and Prime, but I just really like how this sits on the skin. And I am pressing this in with my Beauty Blender. You wanna make sure that you are pressing instead of smearing the color. The more you press, the more it is going to sit on the skin beautifully and not crease, and it's just gonna look so much better so long as you take your time to press the product in. I am going down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the forehead forehead just to add just some balance to my face because I am going to contour ever so slightly. I'm also hitting the chin just so some light will be uh, attracted to my chin. I don't know. I like the way it looks. I am now going in with HD powder from e.l.f. and making the weird alien concealer face. Uh, I always make this face because I just want to press that powder in and prevent any creasing. Okay, moving on to blush. And I work one side at a time, one side at a time. When I am doing cream, I am using NARS in Portofino. This is one of their multiples that is just so, so beautiful. And it blends really beautifully, but I still like to work one side at a time. Here we go again, apples of the cheeks. With the creams, I am keeping them more forward, more on the apple, and not pulling back too far toward my ear. I am going to set everything on the face with a little bit of Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is my go-to everyday powder, and then more blush, which is my favorite. It is the Rosy Outlook Blush from MAC. I've been wearing this every single day, you guys. I'm not even exaggerating a tiny bit every day. So now I am hitting the apples of the cheeks, but you see I'm also blending back toward my ear and using delicate circular motions. We want this to be very blended. The whole face needs to be blended, not just the eyes. So take your time and make sure things are looking cute. All right, now we are gonna bronze up the perimeter of the face and I am taking a bronzer from Becca this is the Shadow and Light Bronze and Contour Perfector. I like to mix both shades together and then just hit the edges of my face. Just to add a little bit of warmth, I'm not really bronzing, obviously I'm still super pale. Okay, moving on. Now I'm taking another product from Becca. This is their sculpting kit. As if I don't own enough Becca, I decided to try more. Uh, big ol' fan of the line. Anyway, I am sculpting out my cheeks with my favorite sculpting brush for the face from Japanesque. And then I am taking the same powder and I'm going down the sides of my nose. I kind of mess up here where I'm like, whoa, too much contour. Too much contour. Don't worry, take a foundation brush or a clean brush, a sponge, blend it out. Makeup will blend and move and you can always kind of perfect things. So don't sweat it if you mess up. All right, moving on to a little highlighter. I'm taking Moonstone from Becca and my Smashbox fan brush and I'm just hitting the tops of my cheeks. I just want to add a little glow, a little shine because I can't live without a little bit of something shiny on my face. I'm all about the glow lately, that's no surprise. Okay, down the bridge of the nose as well and the Cupid's bow and then we are going to line I said our lips. <laughs> We're gonna line our lips. No, actually I'm just lining my lips. Um, yeah, I'm using Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a standard fabulous lip liner that works with everything and I'm just gonna lay on top a gloss from Catrice. This is in Rose Would You and it's just a really pretty everyday gorgeous gloss. I decided I wanted a little more blush, so here we are. Third time's a charm with the blush. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to our lower lashes. I am taking Flirty Floret 
on a flat brush and I am just dragging this underneath the lower lash line almost all the way into the inner corner but not quite because we are going to highlight there. And then I am taking a small definer brush and Birkin and just making sure that everything is nice and blurred and blended out. Moving on to a little brow bone highlight, I am taking a Catrice Matte Velvet Shadow. This is number 10. It's called Vanility. I don't know. It's a, it's a beautiful white matte shade under the brow bones. Then we are going back to the inner corner with a little bit of liquid gold and then pressing Dolce de Leche from J-Cap Beauty on the inner corners just to really make them pop. And we are getting there. We just need to now add a little bit of mascara to the lower lashes. I'm using the Giga Black Giga Lash, Giga Lash from MAC. I don't know. It's really a great lower lash mascara. I will link and list everything that I used below in the description box. And one final thing to do is seal all of that hard work in. I'm using Urban Decay's All Nighter. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me comments of what you would like to see next. And I hope you guys are having an excellent day. I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.